I hope you guys liked the first episode. As you've seen, we did lots of preparation work, seeing how everything is fixed together. So now, first up, some demo again. Well, was just some real power to get it loose. I think this one is going to be pretty easy in my opinion. We're going to hoist it at the front frame, two cables up, two cables at the back, and then I'm going to remove all the wheels and suspension, front and back, make some new steel subframes where, I, where we're going to put some roller wheels on it, so we can hoist it with the back inside the window, remove the back cables, put it in further, further, then the next wheels will be on the floor, and then we can slowly roll it, let the cables loose at the front, roll it in, then take the front cables off and the complete truck should be in. First up, some demo again, to see where we can mount some real nice subframes, where it can stand on, and first to roll it on inside the hospital. I've never done this before, so I need to look up how to get those wheels off. After laying on the floor again for hours and hours, getting the final parts from underneath the ambulance and removing everything so it would be as light as possible to put on the floor. Now time to get it outside again for some really custom stuff. Finally, always a little bit tricky to get it outside rolling with only the front wheels and at the back door truck. We're getting there step by step getting some tubes out of the racks to make some custom subframes. Finally, some nice work to do. Again, drilling, sawing, thinking what I should do, how to get the first step in this process. Always I'm doing some custom stuff, trying to figure out in my head where on which direction we want to go. Measuring, putting everything straight, then off to the saw, get some final tubes to align everything straight. When we have a starting point from there, we can make a good plan for the complete subframe. Tech welding them together, putting it back in the shop to get it all aligned and on some jack stands for the final measuring. Alrighty, first stuff to put it on a nice frame is start out. First things are tech welded in, so today I'm going to hopefully fully frame it out and put it on roller wheels and so it's low to the ground 
and can fit through the opening in the hospital. Almost there. Oh, it's not even on here. That's strange. Well, maybe I am a little bit too secure for a job like this. But, well, I like a good starting point. stuff finally we can build things ready to build some nice steel frames where it can sit on we've got the roller wheels in hopefully they are strong enough two two seven all the way up there so we got 13 centimeters left to roll it into the building one is going down under the small roller wheels fingers crossed they'll keep the weight but I'm pretty sure that should be possible made some big frames for under the cabin after that this is the frames where it can roll on and hopefully now it will fit inside the hospital reinforcing the frames with some angles Let's go weld it up. Ever wondered how it would look like from my position? You always see me laying down on the camera. Well, this is my view. Well, 
Here we go again. I've got all the wheels and frames finished nicely. So the wheels are on. They're sticking just out of the cabin. But the next thing is, I put it up. Never thought about it. First, I put it the rear on the jack stands and then the front. But now the point is, I think the wheels are not strong enough to lift one side first, lower it, and then the other side. I think the wheels will snap. So I want to pick it up in the hole. Hopefully there is enough room to wiggle around it with the truck so we can hoist it all at once and then lower it. It's heavier than I thought. 